These are our three crew members coming home. You can see NASA astronaut Jessica Mir and Oleg Skripochka. They both have 205 days on station after this most recent visit. And Andrew Morgan, who spent a little bit longer of a time there aboard the International Space Station. And there you have video inside the Russian segment of the International Space Station. We can see you well. NASA astronauts Andrew Morgan and Jessica Mir on the left preparing for their journey home. And to the right was Cosmos cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin, who just arrived eight days ago. And floating into view, Oleg Skripochka, the commander of the Soyuz MS-15 spacecraft that will bring these three space travelers home today. So this is Utios 1. How do you copy? We see that you're taking pictures now. All the best, guys. Thank you. Moscow Station on Space to Ground 1. We confirm, Anatoly. You can say your goodbyes, and the guys can move into their vehicle. All right, copy. We are saying goodbyes. Maska, do we need to perform? No, we do not need to perform. Inaudible. So those steps do not need to be put in work. The crew of six hugging their goodbyes. They'll all see each other next on the other side of Earth's atmosphere. And Jessica Mir, board engineer one, and on the left seat of the vehicle makes her way into the Soyuz MS-15 spacecraft. She's followed by Andrew Morgan with nine months aboard the International Space Station in 272 days on this, his first mission. Floating in, he's board engineer two in that right seat, followed by Oleg Skripochka, Roscosmos cosmonaut, the Soyuz commander. And you can see the crew is making sure their hatches are clean. And the hatch on the Soyuz side now closing. and Anatoly Ivanishin working to close the hatch on the station side. And the hatch is now closed on the Soyuz. That space Ivanishin is floating out of is called the vestibule. That's the portion that will be depressurized uh, to the vacuum level in preparation for undocking later tonight once the space station hatch is closed as well.